Hey guys, I'm Pleasure 2 here with my new Let's Play, Folklore. This is my first ever console game, and I'm gonna have to be quiet here for a little bit because of what's coming up next. But I'll see you guys when this is done. I lost my mother when I was very young. My only memory of her is telling me bedtime fairy tales about a mysterious village. The village of Dula, where the living could meet the dead. And now she tells me she's alive. Mother, why did you wait so long? I told you! This is as far as I go! Please, just get us a little closer to the shore. Not a chance in hell! We'd never make it back! I have a family to look after, miss, so leave me out of this! I'm decided! We're turning back! Wait! I must see my mother! It's for your own good! Thank you. I appreciate it. I'll get there on my own. Miss, you've been killed! No! A dark cloud cast over my life with my mother's death and the ensuing solitude. Spiritual encounters are constantly reported in all corners of the globe. At the same time, the march of modern science makes a steady advance. It may not be long before the boundaries between life and death, indeed, the destinies of men, will be dissected and explained to us by modern science. You may find it strange for me, a reporter for an occult magazine, to say this. Ah, oh, damn it! Not a prank call. Editorial department, Unknown Realm magazine. Speak up, please. They'll kill me. Hmm? The village. Doolin. On the cliff of sea. Help me. Wait, wait. Hello? Hey, hello. We see this kind of prank all the time, but somehow, this one seemed different. So, I headed to the village of Dooley, the realm of the dead. Is it you, Mother? I wanted so very much to see you. It was very hard without you. I was so young. But that doesn't matter anymore. Why won't you answer me? Excuse me. What? Are you the one who telephoned me? What? Who are you? Why would I... Hmm. Perhaps not. What about the lady over there?
image of the dead. Tell me this is a joke. That is my favorite line in this whole entire game so far. Doesn't matter. Just my favorite line. It's not because it's played by Pete, so it's my favorite person in this game. Anyway, as you can see here, we have two our two main characters. Uh, we can play both, but this is Alan. Uh, she was pretty much just showing what happened, or telling tell what happened. Uh, 17 years ago, she lost her mother. She got a her, telling her to come to do it. And, uh, there's a fellow that's who she thought was her mother. Uh, I, I really don't have enough time to read all this, because Small text from what I'm saying, but this is Keith. He works at a on-call magazine called, um, I can't remember what the name is, but he gets a call saying, Help, berries will kill me. Dylan Village, first of sight. And he went to that village to see his distress call. But, out of these two, we are going to start with Keith. This is my first guy to play as throughout this whole entire game. No matter what, he's just my favorite person in this whole entire game. Um, this is the prologue. It's not always going to be a branching story, but here we start out in the cliff. I'm going to let you guys read this because, again, it's not a text for when it's full on sitting. Uh, but I've played this game before, so we are going Look at the map, which tells us about the top left. Now we are just going to go down to the blue check it told us. But this is a PlayStation 3 only game. You move around for that thing, like stick like any other game on the PlayStation platforms. Start from PlayStation 2 because even though the play PS1 had analog sticks, you use the directional pad more than anything else. But, um... Down here is the beach. And look at this. Keep going there. Let's see what they have to say. Again, you guys are going to have to read the fun story. And on these parts, where it's a little comic I cannot control the speed. But, um... Hopefully next video I'll be able to read. I just have my have my TV at Mangles where I can sit at my desk and record and watch it. But I have things piled on top of my PlayStation 2 which is which is broken right now, so I kinda have to get a new one so I can do any PlayStation 2 let's play like I was planning to. But I have things on top of my PlayStation 2 which kind of kind of obstructs the view a little bit. Well, this was going to be a show on the first episode, but, um, Rockstar 7, huh? You gotta, I guess he got a little bit too big here. He just didn't want to do it anymore, you know, he, he agreed to it, but he's lost because this is a good game, because I told you it's so loud. I feel sorry for Keith, he gets a place in a rock. But, oh, he's a shack. I'm sorry, I just really don't have anything to say to me as part of this because I would be reading all this if I could actually see them a little bit better, but next episode, next episode. Uh, this is Keith's place, but the memo pad that you can use where you can save during the chapter. The file before is from me playing for my family because I like this game. This couch right in here um, is used to switch between day and night cycles here. If you're stuck in a day cycle and there's nothing to do, you can go to that couch and just wait until night, or wait until night. And uh, let me come here. 
Or you were told to go for the bar, which is the worst place that you the only place that has bar. Now, you showed me some interesting people. Sorry for the change, but I think I'm even to record my voice right now. It doesn't seem to be really picking me up. I'm sorry if you don't quite do this, but it's just now I stuff to talk about. I'm just trying to get sent so you guys can uh, leave and get things over with. One thing I don't think about Keith is how he always has to breathe on his glasses and wipe them off. I understand there's like new stuff that could be happening to the glasses and he has to wipe them off and breathe on them to get them clear again, but still. Let me constantly do it when you're talking to people. Oh, hold on, I'll get my glasses. Now I better wait, no. Okay, that's fine. No, there's still something there. Why? These are some of the people we can see around the bar at night. They, these people will have more of a very interesting role later on in the game. But uh, as for now, we're just here to be here. So if you guys just hear in, clicking them, opening, closing the flash drive. I messed with the landlord, I'm sorry. Um, this took me long to record my thought it would be. I'm gonna say that like 9. And then around 10 because I had technical difficulty and I just started trying to and just. Yeah. This guy will be important, as you can see, with an option called Quest. Those will, uh, those will come up soon. Quest. Yeah. There's also DLC for this game, but it's not, nothing like, really game changing, where there's like more you can do after the game. Just, it's just like, Quest to get less than that and other things. And now we shall meet our invisible man. I'm starting to pick up me tapping on my desk. Desk. My desk. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a nice one night in the Christmas mode that's almost summertime. Little oh, deer winter. Yeah. I don't know anymore. I'll let you know that tomorrow I'll be like switching between the folklore and Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, so I'll uh record Mystery Dungeon tomorrow. Which I think we're almost done with the main story of my like, game. I have, I have to do some off-screen, uh, leveling before I record mine. So if it's out a little bit later than usual, which is around 9 o'clock-ish for me, because for some reason my upload rate is just 
horrific anymore. But, yeah. Don't worry, I'm not dropping Pokemon that you guys are like a little Sapphire. Sapphire is still on the road now. It's pretty much my first place play on Sapphire. I'm not stopping it. I'm not stopping it just because I've I'm too lazy to start up a new file and get back to otherwise, which is not far in the game, but still. But still. That's the wrong time, right? And let's see what shall happen. Come back to the door. Go to the door. I can just stay over myself and Sorry. Uh, I'm trying my best here. I'm trying my best. I'm going to the game is coming up. my breathing at all, which is amazing. Well, this is interesting. What's happening to that girl? By absorbing the power of the Cloak of Sthii, she has become a traveler of the netherworld. You also hold the same power. <laughs> the land of the dead. Not interested. I prefer, well, something more substantial. In fact, I'm amazed I can even see. can she possibly have to cause disaster there? She only went to search for her mother. The portal to the netherworld lies beyond here. Go and see for yourself. Oh, and I just found out why my smartphone hasn't been picking up me breathing. And that's because what I'm using to record my audio while playing this game is using my microphone that's in my computer and not my headset. So I'm going to have to talk louder, which I'm sorry, guys. I'll, I will fix this for episode 2 and from then on 
I didn't know that until uh, doing that cutscene, I was tapped it, it went haywire. Like that. That's me tapping it. Anyway, let's go on through here. Yeah, the chair. And let's go into this weird portal. Yeah. I am extremely sorry. I wish I would have known this before I started recording anything. I will fix that in the next episode, guys. I'll try to make audio as loud as I can for my voice. And this realm looks interesting. Very interesting. This is a fairy realm. One of the many realms that is in the metal world. And the very first one that we will be going through in our quest on folklore. So, be looking forward to more realms. I personally kind of like how this one looks. It just has a like, mystical feeling to it. Like, it'd just be really nice to live there, but it's not so friendly as it looks right now, as you guys will see soon. I don't know if it's, I'm just like spoiling things, but I love this game so much, I've pretty much remembered a lot of stuff from it. Anyway, let's continue down here. One of the many inhabitants of this realm, this is a fairy. I believe he's talking about Ellen being here before. Just a little bit before. And now not a lot of people come to the film anymore. This guy's talking about how messengers go between the land of dead and the land of living, just exactly like a uh, medium and or something else. And it's about how uh, people wanted to kill a dead loved one. The dead of one. And a long time ago, they had people coming in, even if they're not losing their soul. Uh, I'm not taking anything from here yet, so I'll cover that later. Most likely in the next video. Anyway, let's continue. Now, this is the main part of the game. What's coming up right now? Well, show a little fairy tale. I can, I can at least read this one. Yikes. Beware! Something, something, mister. What's this? It's the energy of the folk. The older soul. So, Pete, pull out your hand. Quickly! Okay. Of energy. Huh? Remember that feeling. I will not always be there to help you. This place is new. What are those things? Where are folks? Pretty much for me, I'm gonna be all the day. Hold on, hold on, don't fuck him around. I'm just. I am extremely sorry about the audio again, guys. I could have swore it was going through my headset, not the microphone, I threw my computer. Anyway, yes, this is a, mainly a PlayStation 3 game, as you can tell by the top right. Any folks that you have, you can assign to the square, circle, triangle, or X button. The one on square is our attack, the one on X being our shield for now. We will get more uh, folks later on, but for now these are our main two, so I feel like switching them out with a different one. Anyway, um, the blue bar is the uh, mental capacity, which we will not be able to do anything. Uh, one that empties.
Uh, when we learn uh, hits on our enemies, a blue silhouette of one will come out, and when we're down, a red one will come out. We press R1 to absorb their ID, which is so much of a tool. And switch the controller to pull it out, which is why I like this game. It has interaction between the controller itself and the, the game. And I mean, more than just that pushing. I mean, you actually, you also pull them the ID out of the phone by moving the controller up like that. Now let's see a little bit fancy here. Step back a little, turn around, and get go. We're gonna test this here with that. Uh, kind of a big battle right here. It's not that hard. I got all this damage. But, this is just that's so much a this is, this is karma stuff. We will be learning that later. I'll show you it later. They're just kind of telling us what it is that has, uh, I believe, our fast bolt. But the next something from karma. And the light crystal in the back we will learn when we are done with the battle. Anyway, we are that tiny bar under the mental capacity bar is something that we will burn as soon as it fills up, but I think it will fill up fully anytime soon. But, um, I really like where it does when it's full, because it's fun. But anyway, this is a nice battle. This is a lot of battles in this game. A lot of folks in this game. I would add in gathering for uh, unlocking things and uh, and karma for a and a lot of um, fighting other folks with folks to unlock karma for that folk and just with one like huge clump. Anyway, that's just about it. Now these white crystals right here are out of the variety of them, as you can see from just the back of them. They will usually have items in them, varying from the large health drops to the small ones. And just random items in between that can be used for karma of the folk. Anyway, this seems to be at the end of our little journey for now. The girl at the cliff and the one who fell off seem to be here. So this could be the end for uh, what we're trying to do right now. Ah, uh, just pop my neck up real good. Anyway... Good fucking loser, how are you? I'm not talking to him about anything yet. Anything that has multiple choices about topics, I will not choose anything from. Because I will cover that in the next video. Uh, this one is going to be longer than what it should be. I'll have to do it on the time. It's only like 28 minutes right now. And, uh, meh. There's Ellen on her cloakiness. And that looks... Not much of the person who fell off the cliff. Anyway, let's see what happens, shall we? Strange. This should be an emotional reading. Here we go. This, this one should be to Wild Oregon Girl! Just the best, it's all your fault! I'll kill you! Eek! I don't know what I'm talking about, I don't know if I'm threatening something. I'm just recording people, okay? I'm not threatening anyone, I'm the only one home. Okay. It's the two times right now. Hurry up, let's get talking this one before our time runs out too.
guys, it's me, I'm so fucked up, I'm again. I am sorry about that. Apparently I'm just born. You have to understand. Well, I guess I can take off <coughs> my own photo. I don't think I'm not using it very much. Looks like Ellen was Mr. Pink's daughter after all. Looks like she just wanted to show her school some 10 years ago. What happened some 10 years ago? Did Ellen's mother die some 10 years ago? Huh. Sounds like the pot is thick anymore. This shall be a fun message to throw out that peak. But don't forget the war is cool. We have to figure out what's going on with her because apparently she was down here by that letter. And so far we know that letter was sent by the rich woman. So it's not her mother at all. So. Thirty-one minutes in. We should be doing our end here. But it seems to be like the bar, but there's no one here except for Keith and his invisible man. Looks like we need to find a mental of the dead, bring it to the altar at night, and if the dead is working, the door will be open. Seems like there's another one I can't do it again. Wait, I must know more! Damn. Keith, Keith, Keith. Watch that little language, young man. Say the game. Why, yes. I said yes. Doesn't work. Come on! No, we don't. We'll save the new data because I want to. Save complete. And this is the end of our first episode of Go Core, people. Next time, we shall be tackling Ellen's prologue. And after that, we'll go back to Keith. But, we'll just see because Ellen seems to have a little family problem going on here with her mother dead now. But, anyways, this is Link Legend 2. If you like my video, subscribe and like this video. Go check my, out my other Let's Plays. This is Link Legend 2 signing out. Bye.